point of privilege. Quick point um, of personal privilege. Yes. Quick point of privilege once again. Quick point of privilege once again. Point of personal privilege. What Yale professor is branded racist compared to ex cop Derek Chauvin and told to resign from her councilwoman job because she interrupted a black man and told him to address her as doctor during a virtual meeting? Hi, welcome to the Dum Dum News Channel. I am your host, Dum Dum. For those of you that are new, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and leaving your comments below. So, before I read the rest of the article, we're gonna watch the video. Disclaimer, I am just going off what the video shows. I am going to leave a link to, in the description so you can go read the entire article. But what I see here first is apparently someone asked the question at the wrong time during this meeting. So, so that's a little bit of a broad question. So we, uh, <laughs> we we do submit point of order point of order is there ever an instance where a public comment is addressed by a commissioner or someone in the administration this is a public comment am i not am i mistaken point of order and then the protagonist in question starts up with this point of order point of order asking if that question should even be answered at this time but what is this whole point of order thing? So here is the definition. It says, point of order. In a parliamentary procedure, a point of order occurs when someone draws attention to a rules violation in a meeting of a deliberative assembly. So in my opinion, she was doing exactly what you're supposed to do when there's a rules violation. That is well taken, uh, councilman, uh, councilwoman Horsley. So. Dr. Horsley, please, thank you. So the guy responds that that's well taken, but his mistake is that he calls her council man and then corrects himself with council woman, but it's too late. She's pissed and she asks him to say, Dr. Horsley. Council woman Horsley. Uh, so I will ask my questions and uh, have uh, Director Jackson get back. Thank you, Mr. Farmer. Mr. McGarry. And this woman is not even paying attention over here. Um, yeah, I was just going to simply say public comment is ordinarily uh, we receive public comment, uh, but don't respond to it. So this guy is clarifying the rules. That is a good point. So I, everyone needs a reminder. So I thank you for reminding me. Um, so I guess my question is then, and, and seeing that this is a bigger uh, question, um, I guess it makes sense for uh, Director Jackson to get back. Uh, so the questions are, uh, that question again, uh, uh, about how often. Why don't you submit them? Um, since we're in public comment, why don't you go ahead and submit them? You can submit them just like the, the regular practice we've been doing. You can submit, submit them to the whole council or to me, um, and I'll get them to Ms. Renta, who gets them to Mr. Jackson. Or you can send, submit them directly to Ms. Renta, however you prefer. So the guy is good enough to admit that everyone needs a reminder, and then he proceeds to try to ask a question again. And then this lady is the one that actually interrupts him and says, well, why don't you submit him at the appropriate time? So I thought this whole video was around this woman, but apparently I was wrong. It was around the woman that used her point of order. Okay, I was just going about the process as I uh, conferred with Attorney Mednick. So I will, seeing that is your commission, uh, Chairwoman, I will do what you want me to do, but I'm just making it clear that I confirmed with attorney Mednick uh, before having this conversation. So I, I will confer uh, with you. Well, thank you so much for your consideration. Um, and I think, unfortunately, you just sort of missed when we were talking about any questions. Um, and now we're in the public comment section. So let's just keep moving along. So she tries to interrupt them again, and he proceeds to explain why he asked the questions at that time. And she again corrects him and tells him when to ask his questions. Well, of course, SJW's got a hold of this and the lady had to apologize. Here is part of what she said. Again, I'm not going to read the entire thing, but there are links for you to go read them. And she says, in my conversations with many individuals this week and after much reflection, I would like to take the first steps to repair harm for direct or indirect interaction that I had with Councilman Farmer this week. I recognize that I was disrespectful toward Councilman Farmer both during the meeting and on social media afterwards. I am committed to continue to learn from this experience and ensure that I can work for a better Haddam and community. 
In my opinion, she was probably pissed off because he called her a cancer man, but she did use the point of order to say that, hey, this isn't the quick time to be asking questions. Well, Justin responded, and here is part of what he said. In the latest incident, I was again subjected to public disrespect not only from Councilwoman Hersley, but by the silence and complicity of the leaders of the town council. In the interest of moving forward to the people's business, I accept Councilwoman Horses' apology. Oh my goodness, what are you talking about? They all were in the meeting and they kept going with the meeting. So I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about, but this smells like victimhood to me. And of course, the SJWs decided to put a change.org petition to get her fired where they compare her to the cop that is on trial for the George Floyd incident. I mean, come on, people. This is crazy. Well, guys, what do you think? Should she be fired or she resigned? Or should she have even apologized for this? Leave it in the comments below. For the Dum Dum News channel, I'm Dum Dum. Point of privilege once again.